In the middle of Berlin, I stumble upon a tragic story. In January 1943, the Schneebaum family was picked up here and taken to Auschwitz. Father, mother, 11-year-old daughter Thea and one-year-old son Victor. All four were murdered. This house was home to the Schneebaums. Their fate and others should not be forgotten. That's why an artist from Cologne has started to lay these cobblestones or Stolpersteine 25 years ago. But now a politician from the far-right AFD has demanded to end this memorial. He referred to a remembrance dictatorship, sparking controversy. But other politicians have been alarmed by this criticism of the brass memorials. In the Bundestag, all other parties strongly reject the AFD's stance. AFD delegate Gedeon demands an end to the cobblestones. With such statements, they mock the memory of the dead. Shame on you. They talk about the cult of guilt, a dictatorship of remembrance, a monument of shame. This is intolerable historical revisionism in its purest form. And the AfD. The AfD has talked about a monument of shame and called for a 180-degree turnaround in the way we remember history. During the debate, members of the AfD group were heard laughing and shouting. But none of them was prepared to repeat the controversial proposal. Again and again, the AfD uses the same method. First, they deliberately provoke. Then, depending on the audience, they slightly relativize their statements. But party supporters get the message. And apparently, attacks on Germany's culture of remembrance don't seem to harm the party. AFD politicians have also criticized the Holocaust Memorial in the center of Berlin. They are openly opposed to Germany's basic conviction, never forget. Instead, they call for an end to remembrance. <laughs>